a box covered bridge in Open Bridge Designer with Open Bridge Modeler and Harem Bridge. So let's see in this video how we can do it. We start by choosing the bridge type as cast in place bridge. After we create three different units, one for each access wing walls at the entry and exit, and another unit for the box covered bridge itself. We define our bridge with a skew angle of 10 degrees. We activate the middle bridge unit and place the deck template already defined for the box covered and proceed with the deck, abutments and wing walls for the extreme units. We can prepare the wing walls template so they can be placed according to the opening angles. For the slab decks at the wing walls, we introduced variable constraints that are obtained by the orthogonal to the alignment. We can use uh, the modeling tools to, uh, to cut um, the areas that are needed for the final geometry. Now we can send the box covered unit to RM bridge uh, for the analysis and we can get our beam structural model. We can discretize more the box covered cross section and introduce the fem shell elements in RM modeler. We have prepared one cross section with this information that we can introduce in the model. In main girders, we can insert the slave nodes numbering. For the connections to the ground, we deleted the transferred spring elements and introduced new springs, placed at the bottom slab and connected to the slave nodes.
we select the fam shell elements in uh, main girders and recalculate the model, uh, sending it to analyzer for the calculation. We can look at results for the self weight as MYY, MXX and NXX, for example, um, and look also at the reaction values and see that uh, with linear springs, some of the springs are tensioned. In Analyzer Structure Elements, we can now change the spring elements to a non-linear spring as compression only springs and run the analysis again with the option for non-linear spring selected. We see now that all reactions values are in compression and we can look at the final uh, shell results. I hope you find this video to be helpful. Thank you.